welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right here. I am in love with this eye look today. I had a splash of glitter, which I love. I also tried out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation today. So if you want to see how to get this look and how I feel about the foundation, then just keep watching. Sorry about the noise, guys. The air conditioner is pretty loud. I tried to film this morning before it even kicked on, but it just did not happen. I ran out of time. Since I am using a new foundation today, I'm going to go ahead and stick with my normal priming routine, which is with my Milk Makeup Hydro Primer. I'm going to go ahead and just put that on my nose, my T-zone area, where I always have breakup. Then I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Found Luminous Foundation in the shade 120W. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this half with a beauty blender and half with a brush just to see which one I like more. Take a couple pumps of I think I could have went a shade darker with my foundation. That's okay. We'll make it work. I'm also going to use my beauty blender on my nose as well all over my nose because it is hard to use half and half on your nose and I like using a beauty blender on my nose especially even if I go in with a brush then I'm going to go in with my Morphe JH03 brush I love this brush for foundation it's like so soft I do really want to try when they come out with it again the IT Cosmetics Love Lizzie Foundation Brush. Kathleen Light swears by it, so I really want to buy it next time it comes around. And I'm just kind of pressing that into the skin. Let's see here. Honestly, I think the brush side looks better. So I'm just gonna go over the side with my brush. Just to even it all out, make sure it is all looking seamless. I don't want you to be able to tell the difference between the sides. Because this side does look a lot better than this side does on the skin. I'm sure it, the camera is not picking it up, but when I look in my mirror right here, you can definitely tell. I promise I will be getting more brushes soon to test some out and that way I'm not always using Morphe brushes. It's just what I have, what I've invested in. So far I am really, really liking this foundation. My eyes look really great today. but. Um, it blended really nicely, especially with the brush. I'm really impressed. It had pretty good coverage as well. It's a little tacky, but it's not bad. Mostly where I layered the foundation, it's a little bit tacky. Alright. Next, I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm going to just use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, tried and true. I love this stuff, and I know it's good, so we'll see if it works with this foundation as well. So I just put that on my under eyes, nose, cupid's bow, chin, and now I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Conceal in Light 
And just put a little dot right here. Underneath the eyes, the shade is more like my skin tone, so it kind of calms down that really light shape tape. to do a video about my ear piercings and tattoos. Would you guys be interested in something like that? Let me know in the comments. So I am really, really liking the way that that blended out, especially with the foundation. It looks awesome. Next, I'm going to set my under eyes. I'm going to be using my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm almost out and I'm really sad because I bought this little cute trial size. And I like it. Okay. So I'm just going to take this tapered brush. It's my JH07 brush. Just Pat that underneath the eye area and go ahead and set the eyelid area too so that way whenever we're using our eyeshadows they blend out nicely. My nose always breaks up so I am going to go ahead and bake on my nose just a little bit. Just because no matter what foundation, concealer, powder I use, I always end up with it breaking up on my nose. If you guys have any suggestions of what to use for my nose so it doesn't break up, let a girl know. So I am going to just really big my nose. I do have something going on later tonight so I'll see how this wears. It is about four o'clock my time right now so we will see how it wears throughout the night. I won't be getting home until about 10, 10 30 tonight so I will try and do a check-in and if I forget then I will leave how I felt about it at the end of the night below. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I will be right back. I went ahead and filled in my brows with my two brow products that I have, my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. I do wanna buy an Anastasia Brow Wiz or a NYX pencil or something because I like the way this looks, but I feel like no matter what I do, they always look a little bit bushy, no matter what. Maybe that's just my brows, I don't know. But every time I use this, I get that feeling. And then I went ahead and set it with my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I also really want to do a full face from Dollar General. I think that would be kind of fun. Just because they don't have a lot of makeup. And, you know, why not? You know? Why not? I'm going to be using this pretty guy. Okay, so I'm going to take this shade right here called Lace. I'm going to take my big Morphe blending brush. This is my M504. And just blend that out in the upper crease and the transition area. And out. Like I said, I have hooded eyes, so whenever I do a cut crease, I like to go a little bit above my crease just so you can really see 
the shadow on your lid. So I'm going to take this pretty high up in the transition area. Okay, so I do want this to be kind of winged out, so I'm just going to take my Airspun powder and my Morphe Beauty Sponge and I am going to just make That way it is clear where that line is going and we don't have any fallout. This is why I do my eyes before my face, otherwise I'd be putting this right on top of where I put my highlight and it's just going to cover that up. So I always do, if I don't do my eyes first, I'll do my eyes before I do the rest of my face at least. I think it does seem to work better if I do my eyes first because then you could use tape for this and then you really get that nice line but I already did my face because I was excited about the foundation so, next I am going to take this M441 brush I'm going to dip it in the shade Tickle right here and just pop that in the crease as well. I'm gonna go above my natural crease, so whenever I'm looking, I always put it up here. A little bit more. Make sure to flick that out. Now I'm going to go in with this little tiny, it's pretty sharp um, pencil brush. It's a Morphe brush, I've had it forever doesn't even have a number on it that's how long I've had it I'm gonna go in with these two shades I think I'm gonna, gonna take more of this shade but I'm gonna mix the two just a little bit I think I'm gonna do like a half cut crease though so with this shade I'm just kind of drawing out where I want it to hit too far on that side but that's okay we're gonna blend it out I'm gonna take this brush right here it is my JH 40 brush just a little dome brush and I am going to take this shade right here called tease just to blend out what we put down before we go in with any more of that shadow just so we have no harsh lines. We don't want to start out too, too intense before we, we want to build it up. I just find it's easier whenever I lay down kind of a base of where it's going to be. So that way you're not covering up so much shadow with, with your concealer. going to be a half cut crease so I'm just blending that out I'm also going to blend it down into my crease and my lid just on the outer corner here on the very very outer corner take my M518 brush doesn't have anything on it it is a clean brush and just kind of go over where what we just did just to kind of blow it out and diffuse the situation see like this one looks so much better now that it has been buffed out a little bit better
I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer part and then and then I'm gonna go back in with another shade. So I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a JH42 brush, just a little tiny brush like this. I usually just lift up the cap a little bit and grab what's up here. Cause I mean that concealer is just sitting there. Never gonna use it. Alright. Then I'm gonna put this along right along the lash line and let go. So now I'm going to take this little dome brush here. I'm going to take Love Bite here, dip it in that shade, and just go along that line that I just created with the concealer just to deepen up the cut crease a little bit. I'm just gonna go back in with my Jaclyn Hill with my JH40 brush and Love Bite. And I'm just gonna put that right in that outer corner. This is just gonna connect what we've been working on on the crease up here to the outer corners of the eye because we definitely want the outer corners to be the darkest now I'm gonna go in with the shade right here this is called daydream it's one of the shimmers in the palette it is beautiful it has a little bit of like blue reflex in it which just makes this eye more interesting in my opinion Okay, so I'm just going to get that. I am going to wet it with a little bit of my Morphe setting spray just to give it that extra little pop. I'm going to put that right where that concealer is. Then I'm going to put a little bit of the shade right here, Fantasy, and I'm just going to put it in between this dark outer corner here and the light of the inner corner. I'm just going to use my finger to do this. Just a little bit of that first shade um, Daydream on my finger and just pop that on because this, these shades do go on a little bit better with your finger, in my opinion. I'm going to jump off of camera and do a brown, simple winged liner. I will be right back. Well, I'm going to call it good. As good as it's going to get. So I did decide I wanted to add just a little extra something in the crease area. I'm going to take this shade right here in mauve. I'm not even sure where I got it. It doesn't even say anything on the bottle. I've had it for a while though, but it's a really pretty like rosy gold glitter. I'm gonna put just a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take this Sigma E05 brush, just a little eyeliner brush like this. I'm gonna take just a little bit of that glitter from the back of my hand. I'm just gonna put it right in along that crease. From the inner corner to about mm, halfway across the lid and I just kind of tapered it out. 
Now I'm going to just finish up the under eyes. I'm going to take this Morphe flat definer brush. It's an M432. I'm going to just take a little bit of Love Bite and a little bit of the shade here, Tease, and just run that all along the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of lace and a little bit of secret right here on my JH38. It's just a little pencil brush. And I'm just going to blend both of those under that, under that color that we just put down just to really blow it out. Now I'm going to move on to my face. I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Light Bronzer. <laughs> I'm so sad. I have like none left. I'm going to take my R2 Morphe brush. It's like the perfect brush for bronzing. contour brush my JH05 this is my favorite uh, brush to bronze with and I'm gonna use my elf contouring palette today I'm just gonna take a dab of the shade and a dab of the shade and just go in the hollows of the cheeks a little bit I don't want to necessarily contour too much I just want to get some of that color for blush today, I am going to go in with my Tarte Party blush. I love this blush. Use it all the time. My go-to blush. I need to invest in some more blushes. I really want to get the Juvia's Place brush, blush palette. I always want to say Juvia's Place brush palette, but it's blush definitely blush. I'm gonna pop that on my cheeks. Give us some color. I'm also gonna throw a little bit of a bake. I'll take my air spun powder and my Morphe sponge. Alright, next I'm gonna go in with my Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess Highlighting Palette. Then I'm going to take my M 510 brush. It's my highlighting brush that I always use and just take these two shades. This palette and my Champagne Pop are definitely my two golden go-to shades for highlighting. Next I'm going to take this slanted brush and just blend out that bake. Like I said, I didn't want to leave it on there too, too long. I'm going to set my face. I'm going to be using my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Literally use this every single day. I'm going to spray that on. I really need to invest in a fan. You know what I just realized? I didn't highlight my inner corner. I'm just going to take my JH39 brush, a little tiny dome brush, and I'm just going to take those same two shades that I used to highlight with and just pop that on the inner corner. Next, I'm going to take my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And I just focus this right on the cheek area. I think it brings just a really pretty glow. Go ahead and curl my eyelashes. Mm -hmm. 
So for mascara today, I'm going to be using one that I have never used before. This is the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. It's in this really pretty gold. I'm digging it. Don't know how I'm going to feel. This is a long wand. Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to put two coats of this on my lashes. number 650. I'm just gonna apply that. All over. And then I do want to put just a little bit of pink on the top of those just to make this look a little more monochromatic. So I'm gonna take my ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Alyssa. I bought it, I had to buy it because one, Kathleen Lights collabed with ColourPop on this and I love her and because it's named Alyssa. And so this is the completed look here. I absolutely love it. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do. Um, so please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to be notified when I post. I am going to be trying to post once a week, either Fridays or Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! say that every time. I'm going to be using my nude Huda Beauty. That's really hard to say. Huda Beauty. Huda. 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 And my outro. Okay. Let's try this one more game. <laughs>